Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaron. I am photo retoucher and you can learn, make and create together with me. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit a beauty portrait step by step using my actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. And if you want to get this raw file, link is in description. Uh, you can find this raw file in my telegram channel. Also, if you want to get these actions, link is in the description. So before we start retouching this portrait, uh, make sure that you check all the links down below and let's get started. And as you can see, this portrait is looking great, but we need to clean first. So for cleaning, we are going here, click clean and click play. After we do that, as you can see, we have two different layers here. The clean is a duplicated background layer renamed clean. And this is a black white layer that helps us to see some details in the harsh highlight. But first, we are going to turn off and start cleaning. So for cleaning, I'm going to use three different tools. One of them is spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So I'm going to sort this spot healing brush tool. I will zoom in here uh, because I will start cleaning in the hair because uh, I think that hair needs a little bit more more touch with the clean and as you can see we have cleaned the hair just a little it's time for some liquify so i'm just gonna drag and drop this and go to filter and liquify i'm gonna use the forward warp tool And click OK. For and after of what we've done with Liquify tool, now just merge these two into one, merge layers. And it's time for cleaning on the face. So for cleaning on the face, I'm going to use frequent separation. Just click play and choose between something like maybe 16 until you see that uh, pimples and everything is disappeared. Click OK. Now go to high frequency and click on clean clone stand tool sorry and zoom in this is a different technique of cleaning because uh, this portrait is a close-up and we don't want to destroy the texture of this portrait so I'm going to use clone stand tool in the frequent separation so the clone stand tool works this way you have to click alt keyboard hold it click here to copy and just like this you will clean the skin uh, without doing anything wrong uh i'm using Wacom Intos pro s uh, i'm not using a mouse for a touch so if you want to speed up your workflow in retouch make sure you get a pen tablet and as you can see a before and after with the frequent separation and clean method inside that uh, we need to remove this in the forehead so i'm gonna use a laser tool and feather of eight maybe and as you can see in the low frequency we have some information so i'm gonna create a selection here and use patch tool and drag and drop like this to remove them now, as you can see a before and after in the low frequency, it's removed, but we still have that because it's still in the high frequency. So I'm going to go to clone sam tool. As I said before, click and hold alt keyboard and clean it like this. Now zoom out, check your before and after of what you've done so far with a clean in high frequency and in low frequency in black and white. We have cleaned the portrait and we still have the texture and we didn't do anything wrong. So I'm going to merge these two into one, merge these layers and check a before and after of what we've done so far. And it's looking really nice because we still have the original things in this portrait. Now that we are done with clean, it's time for the dodge and burn. So I'm just going to click on dodge click play and click on burn click play turn on the black and white help player because we need to see some more details and for dodge and burn of this portrait i'm gonna create another window for this go to arrange and new window for this one as you can see we have two windows here with the same file now go to window arrange and click here that says two up vertical and we have two windows 
The reason why I do this for the dungeon burn of this portrait specifically is because that we're gonna work here on the right window and we're gonna take a look on the left window with what we are doing in the dungeon burn. So I'm gonna just zoom out a little on the left window, make this one a little bigger. Uh, because when we dodge and burn, all we need to do is take a look on the zoom out because we will see more of the details of what we're doing on the portrait. So this is the all the reason for this method. So go to the dodge, zoom in on the right window that is this one and with a 10% opacity of the brush and flow by 45 with a brush i'm just gonna start dodging into this portrait so as you can see a before and after right now it's happening here so check in the left before and after you can even work on the left like this and check a before and after it's looking great so keep moving keep working Now that we are done with the dodge, check a before and after of what you've done so far. You can see in the black and white what you've done in the dodge. Now that we are done with the dodge, it's time for the burn. And as you can see a before and after of the burn let me just check a before and after with the colors it's looking great now i'm gonna work a little bit more on the dodge and in the arms or chest part Now you can check a before and after of this entire process, the dodge and burn. Now you can close this window and you have only one. Let me just check a before and after of the dodge again. Open the group of dodge and click on desaturate and reduce this by 25%. Click on the burn and the saturated layer by 35. Now check a before and after again. Of what we've done so far in this portrait and i think that is looking amazing now drag and drop this fs plus and hold shift keyboard click here right click and group from layers rename like clean and dodge and burn just like this double uh no double click but drag and drop this to create another copy of the background of this group and merge the group check a before and after again now that we are done with the clean and dodge burn it's time for some little frequency separation so go back to the actions again click frequency separation and click play so for the right radius of this portrait you are gonna go like maybe 10 i think it's okay open the frequency separation and click on the low frequency so in the low we are going to work with the mixer brush so for the right settings of mixer brush 10 of wet load by 45 makes 55 for the flow we are going by 30 and zoom in just a little turn on the black white health player and start mixing the skin tones of this portrait now check a before and after 
with the frequency separation what you've done and here we have the before and after all the frequency separation i think it's looking amazing and if you think that you have overdone things in the frequency separation you can always turn down the opacity of this layer and click on the high frequency because we need a little more to clean so click on the clone stamp tool and as i said before hold hold alt keyboard click here to copy the texture and paste it like this this is a great technique for the high-end retouching for the close-up portraits like this one and it, as you can see before and after we have uh, done something wrong with the texture so to re remain the original texture we are gonna go here to skin texture click play with a white brush and 100 percent opacity i'm just gonna paint it here of this part where we have done some uh, bad work with the cleaning texture and here's the skin texture or the digital skin texture i just added to this portrait and we do this by 50 percent i think it's okay now check a before and after over this entire process and it's time to add some more dungeon burn to this portrait i'll click on the dodge and with the white brush turn on the black on help layer just paint it like this to add some more global dodge into this portrait now that we are done with the dodge i'm gonna add some burn to the cheeks just a little into the eyebrows around the forehead a little under the lips on the side of the nose check it before and after i think that is way too much so i'm gonna lower this and i think that is okay check the dodge again and if you think that dodge is way too much always lower the opacity of this one i'll check it before and after all this entire process and i think that is looking great now I'm gonna add some sharpen basic contrast and face contour to this portrait. Click play on all of them. Click continue, click OK. This is for the sharpen. Click stop and put this on top of the everything. Click on the sharpen and as you can see it's black because with a mask, so invert it. Click control and I. And you can zoom in to check a before and after all this sharpen action. I think it's 100% way too much. I'm just going to go by 35. Maybe it's okay. Now click on the basic contrast and turn this by 22. Maybe it's the right thing. It's okay. Click on the face contour and check the before and after of this action. Now double click here. Here we have the uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. I'm going to Mix them just a little to create a better portrait. And here we have a before and after. Reduce just a little because it's way too much. Now you can check a before and after of this entire process of retouching. Now you can zoom in. Sorry. And here we have a before and after. We still have the texture. We didn't ruin this. This is the whole thing in the retouch. And now that we are done with retouching, it's time for some color grade. So for color grade, I'm just gonna drag and drop this, hold shift keyboard, click here and group this rename retouch. And drag and drop this again, right click, merge group into one. And here we have a single layer of the retouch. Now click control A to select all this window, click control C for copy, go to file, new. And create another one paste it here merge this and go to the color grade white skin and check them one by one until we find the best color grade for this portrait so i'm gonna stick with cga4 and i think that i'm gonna stick with the cga3 yeah drag and drop both of them into the original folder or the window 
and here we have the CGA4. Now I'm gonna check them one by one until the best settings for this color grade. And here we have the before and after from the CGA4. I'm just gonna reduce this by 75. Click on the CGA3 and check them one by one. And as you can see before, after from the CGA3, I'm just gonna put some more adjustments to this portrait. Go to the color balance and click to the highlights. I'm gonna put some red and yellow tones to this portrait. Reduce by 20 maybe. Click again here to the color balance. And now for the mid tones. Switch from the blending mode that is normal to soft light. And from the opacity, just go by 20. Check the before and after. Click again here on the color balance. And now choose the shadows. So for the shadows, I think that I'm going to go something into a cyan and into blue. Now check a before and after. 100% is way too much. Uh, just going to go by 35. Now click here that says selective color. I'm going to select the yellows and play with the colors until I find the best color grade. Click again here on the selective color. Now choose the red. And play with the red too. Check a before and after for the red. And lower the opacity. Now click here and click to the black and white. Switch the blending mode from normal to luminosity. And check a before and after what this does. Now you can play with the reds and yellows. And here we have a before and after. I'm just gonna go by 25 for this and create another copy of this one. Hold shift keyboard, right click and group from layers and rename CG or color grade. Now drag and drop this, right click, merge the group. And here we have the before and after with the color grade. So this is before and this is after this is before this is after retouch and this one is after retouch and color grade you can zoom in and check before and after i think it's looking great so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the color grade and retouching actions make sure to subscribe if you didn't already drop some likes to the algorithm and let me know in the comments if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.